Hello everybody, welcome to part 7 of the Suzuki Bandit project. So, this week I've been shopping, yep, I've been to my local uh, Suzuki dealership, which is Wheels Motorcycles in Peterborough, get some bits for the clutch. So, first up is the screws I needed. As you uh, see, if you watched last week, there's three tiny screws in the clutch that were chewed up really badly and I needed to replace them, so I got three. And uh, yeah, ordered them on a Monday, they're there on a Tuesday. Something else I've also got from them is a service kit, because there are a couple bits I need to. So, we have a lovely, genuine air filter. We have a genuine oil filter as well. Bear with me. A washer for the sump plug, because we've took the oil out and obviously doing an oil and filter change. And spark plugs, because it never has to change the spark plugs. So, we also got from them a bonus gift. Ooh. What's in the box? Eee. A vintage parts mug. Obviously, Suzuki do vintage parts, and they've got a range of mugs, so this will be handy to drink plenty of cups of tea out of. So guys, at Wheels, thank you very much for sorting those parts out nice and quick. It means I can crack on with a bandit and uh, I'll be drinking lots of cups of tea from this. Just before we get started, I'd like to say sorry about not getting the video uploaded at 9 o'clock last week. Uh, the internet connection was really, really slow and being that it was an 18 minute long video, it took a little bit longer than we expected. So sorry about that, but we'll make sure they're definitely live at 9pm every Sunday night. Okay, so first up this week, I'm going to change the air filter because we got all the bodywork off the bike. It's going to be nice and easy just to change the air filter real quick. So I'm going to crack on with that now. I do like the Suzuki Bandits, as you may know. And to be honest with you, they're so easy to service, they're so easy to work on, it doesn't take much. Little things like all you have to do is take the tank off quick, two screws, airbox lid comes out. Old air filter comes out, which it's not the dirtiest air filter in the world, but it doesn't hurt to have a brand new one in it. So, genuine filter as well. Look how lovely, I know it's a different colour, but look how lovely and clean that looks. So. Air filter. Suzuki Tokyo. Right. New air filter goes in. Says. Mm. Right, one air filter. So I slide this between the wires, get that clip to go in. side pops out <laughs> and then should right tight fit and in she goes Put that one down. 
There we go. All right. There we go, one air filter fitted. So, next I'm gonna do the spark plugs. Okay, so, time to do the plugs. Not the most uh, fun or interesting job in the world, but they need to be done. I've checked the plug gap on all of my spark plugs. So all I've got to do now is take the old ones out, put the new ones in. What will be interesting is to see what the plugs look like that have come out, because, I'll be completely honest, I haven't actually took the plugs out of this since I bought it, or even had a look at them. So, be interesting to see what they look like. I do find with a Bandit 1200 is to use the genuine tool you get from the toolbox. There we go. So I think this has had plugs in it recently. So we shall find out. Just a moment. So that's very white, not very dirty at all. And they are quite new looking plugs. So yeah, quite interesting really. See what that looks like. So new plug about to go in There we go, that's one done, three more to go. So I'll do this one here, just to have a look, see what that looks like on camera. See if it looks any different to the other plug. And then the next thing to do is move on to the oil filter. So let's get this one out. Here we go. Right. That plug, probably see it there, does look very similar to the other one. So, yeah, and they're quite new plugs. There we go, two plugs done. I'll fit the other two, but now we're gonna cut through to the oil filter, which could be fun. Okay, so the old oil filter's off. Someone had done it up really tight, but just one of those things. So now I have my genuine Suzuki oil filter. I've got from my local Suzuki dealership. So, thank you very much, wheels. So what I need to do, put a tiny dab of oil around that seal because it is completely bone dry. Tiny bit on. And now looking at this brand new filter and looking at the old one, you can see like how much it's been crushed by. So 
with oil fillers, I always put them on hand tight. And then do it a quarter of a turn. If I can get it off. <laughs> oh, it's away, isn't it? A bit tight. There we go. Alright, wish me luck. They should spin on like that, nice and freely, and then do it up hand tight. And then put my little foot wrench on. Pop that on like that, and then literally. quarter of a turn tight so from a quarter and that is done so oil filters done plugs are done air filters done so that sort of part of the service is all done and sorted so for the project next thing I need to do is put the clutch back together but We'll be doing that very, very soon. So we've done the air filter, the spark plugs, and the oil filter, and then the uh, the crush washer for the sump plug as well. That's all been done. Uh, got all my service kit from my local Suzuki dealership, which is Wheels Motorcycles in Peterborough. Just like I say, thanks to the guys on the service desk for sorting it out. I've also got my little tiny screws for my clutch. Um, Hopefully next week I'm going to be going on a bit of an excursion for uh, the Bandit project. Not on a bike, but it's going to be uh, interesting nevertheless. So, just like I say, thanks for watching guys. Sorry about being late last week. And please let us know in the comments what you think we're going to be doing next week. It's a bit of a surprise, I haven't told anyone yet. So, tell us where you think we're going next week. If you've got any ideas or what you think we could be doing. And uh, yeah, leave us a comment, give us a like and a share. Uh, give us a subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. And uh, yeah, until next week, we'll see you later.